Greetings and welcome to Scam Takedown Task Force, a channel dedicated to finding scams online and taking them down. I'm your CEO Dan and today we're going to talk about gift cards. This thing looks like it's on. So a scammer has a pretty simple MO. They want your money and they'll do anything it takes to get it. Pretty simple. So why is it that they all want you to go to a store and get a gift card or a prepaid visa card? Well. It all comes down to traceability. You see, when you make a transaction at your bank, the bank has a record of it, who it goes to, and having them create multiple accounts really slows the scammers down. And scammers don't like being slowed down. It also allows the banks to communicate with one another and add breadcrumbs, which allow eventually the FTC or FBI or other agencies to go and find these scammers and take them down. They also don't want to be busted. So what makes a gift card better? With a gift card, all the scammer has to do is get the code. That's it. Once they get that code, they go online, sell it immediately, and even though they're taking a loss on the full value of the gift card, it's still 100% profit for the scammer. And unfortunately, not too many companies who are accepting these gift cards are asking questions. So while yes, it is slower that they have to actually sell the gift card and not cold hard cash, it allows them to keep doing what they do with less of a chance of getting busted. Now many of you might be thinking, well that's stupid, who would fall for that? Well, people fall for it every day. It's because the scammers use impeccable, deplorable tactics. First, they'll start by casting a wide net. Once they reach their targets through emails or phone calls, the people who respond are typically the ones who are susceptible to being scammed. And those people are the older generations, or people who aren't right of mind, a vulnerable population. That isn't to say that the younger generation isn't falling for it, but they're less susceptible than your grandma. They use bully tactics, whittling away at their targets. In some cases, they'll use threats where they say they'll call the FBI or they'll call the ATC or the police and have them or one of their family members arrested. Or they might just continually call over and over and over until finally they cave. I think it's important that we don't blame the victims in these situations. It always looks very cut and dry from our perspective but try to imagine you being drunk and receiving a phone call telling you that you might go to prison if you don't do something. In that state of mind, that's more or less what they're looking for, someone who isn't already all there. That kind of fear is what they instill into their victims. They're cruel and unrelenting, and they won't stop until they're either frustrated or they get what they want. And the people who do cave, they'll take them for everything they got. So what are we able to do about it? Well, unfortunately, the sad truth is that there's not a whole lot we can do individually, other than spread awareness. The more people who know and understand this type of scam, the less likely people will fall for it. Be sure to remind your grandparents about this, because it's found that mostly people over 65 are the victims of these types of scams. Now, some stores have taken measures in order to try to prevent this from happening, but there are still victims who are slipping through. Just remember, and make sure to tell everyone you know who might be susceptible to this. The police aren't going to come for you if you don't play with the Target gift card. The FBI isn't going to come knocking down your door if you refuse to pay with the iTunes gift cards. And the power company won't turn your power off if you don't get Google Play cards. I hope you've learned something from this video, and if you have, please hit the like button. Also, be sure to share the video so we can spread awareness as far as we can. Speaking of awareness, I've created a website where you guys can post scam pages that you find on Facebook and Twitter and other social media platforms and we can track when they've been taken down, how many times they've been reported, and how long it takes for Facebook and Twitter and these other platforms to actually take action on some of these scammers. I just added the ability for you to be able to go and search, so you can type the name of the page or you can even type the URL in there, and if it's already in the database, feel free to add your report. The link for that is down in the description below, along with my social media accounts for Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and please like those if you would. Until next time, I've been your CEO, Dan. Dismissed.